26.2. Point two. Don't forget the point two. Was it Queen Victoria? Oh, no. Was it? I, okay. Everybody in Great Britain, please help me out. And which Olympics was it? I could look it up on my phone, but it's, uh, it's more exciting to get the conversation going down in the comments. What queen, what Olympics? Remember, so the marathon distance was extended. What was it 285 yards, roughly, to, which is amazing. The history behind that move in order to make the marathon finish in front of Buckingham Palace? Am I, am I, am I construing history here? You guys let me know. Um, and then, how like providential was that move in order to push the difficulty of breaking, at least on the men's side, the two-hour barrier? So if it would have just been 26 miles or I guess what, I don't know, 42 kilometers dead even, it would have been a lot easier, but easier for Kipchoge or whoever to break two hours over the past, you know, two, three decades. Am I, am I making any sense here? All right, I'm probably gonna have to pull out my laptop once I get to the uh, workstation and look this up because I'm, I'm too curious now. All right, rolling out. Marathon time. Who's racing a marathon this year? Sh oh, question of the day? Ah, okay, not yet. We've already asked that recently. But anyway, are you racing a marathon this year? I know I am. I can't help it. Let's do it. QD right now. I just was thinking as I'm driving to my location is, and again, always, always, the value is down in the, uh, in the comments. This is, a, this is a important. And don't link, don't link, because YouTube will block your comment, just so you know. But for marathon training, for everybody that's excited for 26.2 this year, next year, the following year, maybe you're just building up right now, maybe you're on the couch to 5K plan, but you do have dreams and aspirations for the marathon. All right, here it is. Question of the day, what training plan, and you can name it by name, or training methodology worked best for you for the best marathon race of your entire life? Okay, so think back, your best marathon of your entire life, what training plan or methodology worked best for you? Uh, name it down below, but again, don't link to it if you have a link because, or to a book, because YouTube will block your comment. That's the question of the day. Cooking the pizzas. And I'll answer the QD as well. So, <laughs> oh man, this is, um, it's, it's such a big topic, so exciting. The veteran marathon racers. If you have time, maybe put a little reminder on your phone, come back in like 10 hours from now, or maybe 24 hours from now to this vlog, scroll down to those comments, and if you care to help the newbies, uh, and listen, I've raced four marathons, and on that topic, like, if you want like memories that last a lifetime, race a marathon. I remember, it's like vivid in the memory bank for, Amsterdam, yeah. New York City times two, and Rotterdam. And listen, I'm not a marathon, a road marathon, you know, and when I do get emails from a lot of people asking, Seth, could you coach me? Like, talk to me in five years, talk to me in a decade. I need more experience. And that's what I love about what, you know, what I do as far as researching marathon training methodologies, training plans, and then applying them to each individual training block, which I'm going to talk about Rotterdam here in a second. All right, first of all, Amsterdam was the first one, New York City times two, and then Rotterdam. Uh, obviously, Lydiard, who passed it to Wetmore, and he's like the foundation, the grandfather of, ever, of all long-distance running. Uh, but Renato Canova out of Italy, who has coached many, many Kenyans to I don't know what his fastest athletes, I think a 203 might be one of his fastest on the men's side and maybe 218 on the women's side. So we're talking very, very successful marathon uh, coach. And oh gosh, summarizing his training. Oh, it's so hard. I'll probably put a, have to put a title on the screen right now. But at the end of the day, he's more concerned and interested in pace over distance in the training. And this is what I applied to the Rotterdam training block, again, about a year ago. You can go, oh man, you gotta go back to Strava over a year ago and watch, uh, look at the workouts that I did leading into that. And I, you know, it was a 70 second PR, 222.20, dropping down, you know, from the Amsterdam 223, I think it was 32-ish, I don't even remember exactly. Um, so, 
Uh, it was a good PR. I wanted more, but it, you know, you never just, oh, if you PR at that marathon distance, especially like savor it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, moment to, to remember and to put into your memory bank. So Canova, he's more interested in, in pace over distance and a classic example of, you know, a workout or a run would be a 17 to 24 mile long run. We're, of course, this is later in the training block, but at 95% uh, GMP, goal marathon pace, okay? 17 to 24 mile long run at goal marathon pace. So he wants you to build up your speed endurance over the entire training block. So slowly extending out how long you can hold your goal marathon pace in your interval workouts. So whether you're starting at, you know, a fart lick with eight, you know, I don't know, 10 by two minutes with two minutes rest, fart lick at the beginning of the training block, and then pushing that out to, you know, 5K, like three by 5K or three by 10K at goal, or I've even seen five by, have I seen, no, maybe it's four, I think I've seen four by 10K with like two or three minutes rest at goal, like pretty difficult workouts a very difficult workout to go marathon type pace. Okay. So anyway, Canova, you can look him up. Okay. We're off. Got to get editing. Oh man, you know the drill. Okay. And we're back. Run was great. Zipping along, racing to get back home to do you know what. Oh, you guys are making me laugh down in the comments today. I do appreciate it. Oh man. Oh gosh, I won't even get into it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, comment of the day. There it is. I think it might have been from Jake, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you, Jake. Send me an email and I'll get you some stickers in the mail. Uh, let's see. So here it is. Oh yeah. Oh, wanted to mail Puma Deviate Nitro Elite 2. Full review publishing very soon. That's what I ran in today. Wow, that the lockdown is getting better. Meaning, at first I wasn't sure how to how to how much to cinch down through the uh, eyelet chain. Woo! It is feeling really nice at this point. Okay, marathons, marathon training, marathon methodologies. There's so many of it. Again, all the value. Go down to the comments today and you just start start reading. All right. And again, the vets out there, if you can hop into the comments, you know, tomorrow or 10 days, sorry, 10, or maybe 10 days, 10 hours after the vlog publishes, and maybe there'll be some questions that you could help answer. So CIM. All right. There's the date. There's the website, the CIM ambassadors and a specific CIM ambassador partnering up with this person and CIM, the marathon, the California International Marathon, December 3rd, if I'm not mistaken, right out in Sacramento, California. We're working together, partnering up with DGR to give away one free entry to this year's marathon. All right, I will be there. Maybe we can share a starting line together to win the entry, all right? This weekend, this weekend, I'm gonna send out an email, all right? So head over to the website, sign up for the emails, and you're gonna, you're gonna reply. We're gonna do it a little differently today. You're gonna reply with your story. Tell me a story. Why do you wanna race the California International Marathon, all right? And whoever convinces me is gonna get the uh, free entry. All right, that's how it's going down today. So uh, again, I'll probably send out the email Sunday sometime. Probably not today, Saturday, probably on Sunday. Sound good? Onward we go, we'll toss it to Rotterdam. Something from Rotterdam, the last marathon. Right there. All right, sounds, oh man. Starting lines starting to appear. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.